What's going on guys? In this video, we're going to be breaking down one of my favorite passing concepts in Madden 21. I think it's actually going to be the best passing concept in Madden 22. I actually think it might have just been the best concept in Madden 21. And honestly, I probably didn't put enough uh, just work into making this offense um, complete. Even though we were running this in the beginning of the year, we're talking about the Arizona spread playbook. And we're going to be talking about this uh, route that is very unique. In fact, it's the only route from spread that you can get. Um, this route is better than a hot route mastered post. This route is better than any post in the game, and it only is found in the Arizona Cardinals playbook. It's the reason why I think that Arizona is going to make a massive comeback in the next year's game, and I think it's actually going to be the offense that I might just finish out the season with here. And so we've gone back to the air raid, and I want to break this down for you. I want to spend a, a significant amount of time in this video breaking this, this uh, not just this route, but this formation down. So we're going to talk about the Arizona spread uh, Y slot, but before we do, I want to encourage you to sign up for our true fan membership because the offensive meta update that we just posted in our true fan membership is um, is our Arizona spread wide slot scheme. We talked about it for about an hour, how to beat man, how to beat every coverage in the game. So if you want to get access to that, I'm going to put a link to join that in the description. Every week with the true fan membership, you get a new offensive video, you get a new defensive video. And then you also get a uh, pro player film study breakdown. I'm excited for this week's pro player film study breakdown as well. Uh, we're going to be talking about spam and buttons and how he was able to three-peat and has been undefeated so far in Friday Night Football. So, anyways, let's dive into this now. Uh, just so you know, I've been getting some comments that I've not been showing the defense. I honestly just forget to. The flats are here. In, in this video, the flats are going to be on 30. The curl flats are going to be on um, 10. And the hooks are going to be on 10. So I've got the Mike Blitz rebooted up, but this is the route right here. This route that circle is on. This route is the best route in Madden 21. It was the best route in Madden 20. It's the best route in Madden 21. And getting a glimpse of the playbooks for Madden 22, just a little bit of a, a sneak point here, is that it's going to be the best route in Madden 20, 22. I guarantee you this specific route is super, super uh, special. So we're going to show why. So first things first, let's talk about just kind of your traditional defense that everybody and their mom want, runs this year, which is basically the defense I created, the Mike Blitz 3. And what you're going to see is this is probably the best defense in the game, okay? Um, it's not going to stop this play. In fact, this, this is the only route that I have found that can consistently kill this coverage in multiple ways. So that they have to use her this route the entire play. Um, they can't just use her for a second and then let the go let it go to the flat zones. They literally have to use her this route for the entire play. So here's your setup. Very simple. Uh, very simple as well. We're going to hitch both slot receivers. And then we're going to put the square. And actually, I like to typically run this with the post on the short side. So let me just reset everything. Um, let me let me reset the play and try to get this route the routes back on the field. Um, and the reason why I like to do that, the reason why I like to run the post to the short side of the field is mainly for the ability to run the out route to the wide side. So I'm going to put circle on an out. It's just a quick read. We're not going to talk about any of the other routes. I just want you to watch the post route, and you can run it to both sides, which is really really cool. So um, you're going to see that this is going to get open first there then there, then there, then all the way across the field, it's gonna get on that sideline, okay? So this route is gonna get open at multiple points, which I think is huge. Um, I don't know what happened with the defense there. Let me show this one more time. Now, if you're ever in a situation uh, where you need to kind of clear some space out, you certainly can do this setup. Um, this is a little bit better for the clear out of the late the late throw. So if you do this right here, you see that I've streaked square hitched triangle, okay? Um, this is just gonna take away your hot read on the left, but it's gonna open up a lot more space. So you see as this play flows, see how he gets over that cloud? It's really smooth. And uh, this is why I like this play so much. They have to use it the entire, the entire uh, way down the field, okay? So let me talk in instant replay just for a minute about where this gets open, okay? So where this gets open, especially against zone coverage, if you watch, when he cuts to the inside, right there, that's a low ball. That's a smooth low ball right there. Now, ignore my defensive lineman. He's just kind of running around. But what we anticipate is that their user is, it's very likely that their user is going to be this guy. 
and he's going to pick this up and basically guard it probably till it gets to like right here because at this point it's going to pass it off to this flat zone so i want you to keep watching this route you see it just keeps running and look at this as this play flow flows through the hitch holds this cloud and you've got a clear window to throw all this grass over here is wide open for you to throw that is why this thing is so good. So uh, let me show you another setup. This is more of a, basically if you think they're gonna blitz you, I would put square on an out. If you think they're gonna, um, if you don't think they're gonna blitz you, then I'd put him on a fade. And it's honestly just that simple. But you could do this too. Um, so let me just show you this setup and I just want you to watch circle. We're just gonna let him run across. Now this is a little bit tougher because the, the outside third kind of sits on it, as you can see. But it, it the, the thing about that is if you run that to the wide side, short to wide side, let me show you what I'm talking about here. Whoops. Okay. So I've got my setup in. I just got to get off this. Okay, so if we run to the wide side here, uh, I just want you to see kind of what happens to um, to the to the outside corner on the right. So if I roll out, see how he's drifting, 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 and I have a nice window. Now ignore the pressure because if they drop this many people, if they don't drop this many people back in coverage, this is why I also like to play. I haven't even touched on the blitz. So if they blitz you out of this. Um, this is arguably the best way to beat zone blitz zone blitz is specifically um, in the game this combination of routes right here you don't even really need the r1 route um, if you want to just put him on an option route you can but we'll leave the we'll leave the running back on on a route and honestly I'll probably block and release him just because it does help with with pressure like this um, that block and release is going to be really important but it, anyway just want you to watch this uh, this left side. You see that the flat zone is going to get pulled, and we're going to be able just to hit the low ball hitch really easy, really really simple, really really easy. And so then the other thing is again, remember they have to use that route. That route to circle. I I, I just want to throw it some, so uh, we're going to throw it some. So if they don't use that route on this play, just step up into the pocket, and you're going to throw it right as it cuts. You see that animation you're going to get. That is every single time you are going to get that animation. I've never not gotten that animation on that throw. The beauty of this is if I flat this the um, if I flat the X um, the slot if I flat the X, you're gonna see that it's gonna it's gonna happen a little quicker for me. So you're gonna see it's gonna really pull this outside zone, and then as you can see, I'm easy easily able to do that. So you know I'll I'll gotta go back and forth between hitching the X receiver and flatting the X receiver for this play. It honestly probably works a little bit better to flatten because the hitch to the back, the option route is really gonna be the, the route that's really interesting because again, you have to understand where they get to the field. They have to run at circle off rip. If they don't run to circle off rip, if they kind of sit and kind of play like they're gonna go but they don't really go, then you're gonna throw this ball every single time. I'm telling you, it is so smooth, it is so simple and it is so flippin' effective in this year's game. It's gonna be just as effective in Madden 22. I can already see it uh, in the beta. But if you just watch this, bam, right there. Right on the cut, easy read, easy read. So what they have to do is off rip, off snap, off the snap. They have to go get him. They can't wait, um, especially when you run this thing um, spaced out. So they cannot wait to go get him. And so what's gonna happen is you're gonna see they're going to literally sprint at that route. They're gonna do their little lurk underneath and then they're going to sprint to the route. So if you just, if you honestly, if you just have stuff that checks down over the middle, it's hard to stop this. Um, you're gonna see, so like right here, snap the ball, they gotta go get him off rip. So I'm just throwing the ball to the option route, right out of the backfield, easy curl underneath. Um, it's, it's really, it's really a clean read. Um, let me show you that one more time. I didn't get a good uh, throw from Rodgers. So assuming that they go to him off rip, not only does it open up this entire left side that we can work,
but it also opens up this little quick route to the back right there easy read you're going for five to ten okay so these are simple little things that that you can do to get this route to just be absolutely insanely good match isn't going to cover it um cover four you might think well, what if they run like an inside quarter what's going to happen then okay good point let's show you the route same thing here this is your combination watch circle right on the cut low ball easy read easy money easy read easy money 10 yard yellow zones aren't getting there so they're going to do zone drops they're going to put their yellows at 15 which obviously is going to open open up this this other side we haven't even talked about uh what what happens if they do that adjustment on the left this is why I like to run the out route to the wide side of the field. You're going to see that the out route's not going to have enough space to get open. But I want you to watch triangle here. This is 10 yard. It's a 10 yard yellow zone. You can just play maker him to the left and throw it. So my point is just that you have so much in this route. Like they have to literally use it um, the entire way on the field. If they don't, I'm going to show you what's going to happen. So if they put a yellow like right here, um, and then let's say that they you got your block and release right watch circle wait on it wait on it wait on it low ball underneath the third easy read this thing kills every single coverage um, if they run cover two and they go heavy if I can get the right uh, adjustments so they're going heavy underneath heavy yellow zone uh, adjustments right a lot of yellows whoops of course my defense is just jacked up um, but a lot of yellows right here like we're just putting yellows out there for days and i just want you to watch this route this is heavy yellow zones right these are 10 yards most people aren't going to put them any deeper than 10 yards if they do you've got hitches that you can work underneath but again look easy money right underneath the zones perfect routes every single time um, we haven't even gone over this against man if you do run man Keep in mind that Valdez Scantling doesn't have great route running, like doesn't really have good route running at all. And you see here, he's gonna pretty much always at least have inside position. Most of the time, this is, I mean, this is obviously where you're gonna want to have, you know, Devontae Adams. If you don't, you know, you're still gonna get it most of the time. You're probably gonna throw it 80% of the time is gonna beat man. That's what you're gonna get right there. Now, one little trick that I've learned with this over the year, um, over this year, is, if the defense, if they're in man specifically, um, it can be the same as well if they're not, but especially for man coverage, if you're running this route, okay, um, what you're gonna do is you're just going to um, hold X to get the dive. You don't you don't click onto the receiver on this. Uh, last year you would click on, this year you don't. Um, for whatever reason, the game actually gives you a better animation on post this specific post route we're not talking about a swerve catch rack over the top we're talking about a dive catch um, that we're going for in this this is what we're you know really focusing on so if you just watch this route again wait on it pass lead inside because secure catch you see how he dives every single time that's that's what you're looking for um, as far as a pass lead on this I would pass lead it you know really just straight inside right there that's what we're looking for easy money easy read this route is insanely good um we haven't even talked about the cover three potential of this um like i said this is just the best it's the best route in the game it's just plain and simple so if they start running a lot of cover three um you know maybe they're doing you know something like this but they're just like running a ton of cover three okay and they really like usering on this right side especially to try to take this away then I want you just to watch kind of what's going to happen. All we're going to do is um, we're going to streak triangle. We're going to come back the square receiver. You could put him on a curl even. We're going to put X on a hitch. Um, and RB is going to be on an in route or something. Just simple like this, right? Watch triangle. So when he comes up, it's going to get this nice little uh, middle third glitch. See how he drifts to the outside like that? Now, I didn't get a great throw. But if you lab that up a little bit more, you're going to be able to beat cover three with that. I know it does beat cover three. I just don't, um, I don't have time in this video to, to, to cover it. But the point is just that like this route is so dang good and you can build around it. Um, I can guarantee you that this, they are going to have, I've just promised you. So here's the loop that they're going to try to do. What they're going to try to do is they're going to try to go up here and then they're going to try to come down. 
if they go up and down, by the time they come back down on this route right here, the post route is going to be over here standing wide open for an easy dot. Okay, so let me show you kind of that idea. So just imagine that, you know, he's taken away instantly and then he's coming back down on the on the running back hitch. Um, so we'll just set the concept up here. Okay, now we just go, watch, comes back down. And that's where that read is easy. It's such a smooth read. This kills Mabel coverage. It kills Mabel coverage. It kills man coverage. It kills match coverage. It kills zone drop coverage. It, it, every single play, they have to user guard this route. So then we start to build around this route and say, well, what are some things that they're going to do that are going to stop it? Well, what they're going to do is they're going to use her to the side that you're running backs on. So if we flip this and run this to the wide side of the field, this, or, um, this now gives us this other side for two wide receivers to be able to work. So let me show you what I'm talking about. So um, if they're, what I'm getting at is if they go heavy zone, let's say they go uh, Mabel coverage on the back side with a, with, a, um, with a hook zone. Whoops. Something like this. If I can get my daggone adjustments to register. There we go. Okay. So we've got this, and then we're going to use her. Um, we're going to use her square. Okay. And, of course, we mess up our whole defense. So we're going to use her square. If I can. Heck, darn it. Come on. Okay. Get the purples off. Okay. This is what we've got. Um, and we've got the vert hook here. Okay, so they're going to use her square. So if you think about this, now what you can do is work some really simple routes on this left side. For example, um, just the route that it comes stock with is actually rel relatively effective. So if we do something like that right there, uh, maybe use an out route to triangle. These are simple little things that you can do. But what you're going to see is against this coverage, You've got yell, you've got this hitch underneath. You've you've got everything open in the middle of the field that you can now work as a concept. Okay, so this is what is really powerful, I think, about this. You can also create three by one looks from this. Um, and we talk about this at length, at length in the um, in the Arizona guide. But again, we have to start with this assumption. They are going to user and blitz too. This is the best coverage they can create. Okay, this is the best coverage they can create. We talked about the importance of that out route on the right side. If they run cover three on the right side, you're gonna throw this out route, easy money, easy read, every single time. So you start throwing the out route. They can't run cover four, they can't run cover three, so then they're gonna shift to something like a Tampa two. Once they, once they start shifting to Tampa two and you're starting to see how powerful this is, um, especially if they have 30 yard cloud flats, it, um, then what you're going to notice is number one, you can still throw the out route if they're not playing um, good covered. Like if they're not playing like a cloud flat, you can still throw this. But if they are playing a cloud flat, you're still going to be able to throw the out route. But you're also going to be able to audible into this Y cross uh, Y cross play. Um, and what you're going to see is that this circle receiver is, is so open against cover two, so open against cover two, right up the sideline, really easy. And really straightforward read it's gonna kill cover two so then what you're gonna really force them to have to do is you're gonna force them to have to play man coverage well, once they start playing man coverage remember they're gonna have to use her um, they are going to still have to use her the square receiver they can't guard anything else on the play the second they guard anything else we throw the square receiver every single time so they and they're gonna have to play cover two man because they can't cover the receivers unless they press them and get a press win animation so now all we have to do is basically be cover two man with the user defending the left side post that's pretty much it once we're able to beat that we're golden and that's where i really like the running back option round um, that's where i like to to do things like this create a three by one set where i can put a delay fade on the right side and use it as a rollout play um, and then essentially run um, just a simple little curl flat concept here on the right side um, and you're going to see you've got your curl, you can roll out, hit your delay, and you've got your post all the way through. So this is a very simple play, but it's really, really powerful. You build around this post route, and this post route, I'm telling you right now, is just so dang hard uh, to stop. Let me just show you. Just wait, wait, wait. 
cover four, throw right underneath it. Easy read, easy money. So if you want to learn the entire spread offense, you can learn it. I've revamped everything, updated everything. All of that is in the True Fan membership. Be sure to pick that up. It's the best thing I've got going right now. Um, every single week you get great, great videos and just great schemes. So thanks for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it, and we'll see you guys next time.